Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, the silent detective playthrough. We're going to head up to Beauty and Beast's apartment to figure out what they know. Let's get right to it. Okay, there's nothing that we can look at here except for the door. So we can knock or open it, we're just going to open it. And it's locked, of course. Oh. Yeah, he's still beat up. Want? Well, then again, so am I. Going around knocking on doors. You called me, Stirring buddy. The pot. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. No, you're just I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? Figures. What do you mean, figures? It's your pal. Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Okay, so you'll notice that their apartment is, uh. Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Yeah, pretty freaking nice. The electric bill is for that thing. Especially for a couple that's going on and on and about how they need to get. how Beauty needs to get another job and. How, uh, they might have taken out a loan, they're asking for financial assistance, so they're not, they don't seem very smart. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Yeah, that's some really nice things. Those are some really nice things. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. She's been wearing centuries that coat forever. Come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? It's Did you pretty come obvious. to give us decorating tips? Will you drop it? Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen It'll be fine. When you cross the Crooked Man. I'm Big B. I don't B. know if it's worth it. You know, if I might die, but you guys will probably be okay. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. Big B, don't you hear us? We're in danger here. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. And they're getting There's a little a stupid. There. You just sell I mean, the chandelier, and you're just good for a while. Like... You gotta make the sacrifices, man. You gotta make the sacrifices. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? I don't think I'm gonna well. stop him this time. I did <laughs> in my last can't playthrough. Come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you Oh, it looks like I'm stopping him anyway. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. What the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really. 
I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Phone rings off the hook sometimes. Man, he's really good at lying, guys. So good. I can't hide this anymore. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. At least Finally. they're being a little bit honest. All I care about is how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. Yeah, because anything the Jersey freaking now, devil says, you gotta trust, right? I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. And just because the I woodsman's guess he's doing something. Hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Well, he's Sometimes a good woodcutter, that's actually pretty just don't have anywhere else to go. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You Creepy. gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. My she pal. Said I was reliable. Yeah. She liked that. That's one way of saying it. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. Have you I guys don't been trying to have very to work, hard? Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. With None your chandeliers this. and luxury chairs. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You and wouldn't slightly understand. entitled. Because I'm a wolf. Yeah, they... Big B. So, where are you going? I know they're supposed if to be the good guys, but I don't I'd agree like with their views. Coming from. All right, it looks like we got another choice to make. I think both seem like likely candidates. Um, in my last playthrough, I went through the butcher shop first, so I think we're going to head to the Lucky Pond. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, it says the I'll same thing, out. but about the other place, so... Different scenes will happen depending on when you get to Wait, which place. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Oh, well, I know what I'm gonna do when I find the Crooked Man. this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out?
It's kind of rude for them to even ask. I'm putting my life on the line for this town. I don't... I don't need to take any unnecessary risks, but chances are the Crooked Man is going to die, so their debts are going to go away. So in a way, yeah, I'm helping them. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks Toad. like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Dad, Trying to sell the donkey skin. I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh, you didn't see me? This is a surprise. Sheriff. Need a decorative lamp? Got Why is Jack those? here? Where's like Jersey? Two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Cause it's magic mule skin, that's why. And it's not even mule skin, it's donkey skin. What's what does the, the coat do? Uh, you know, one has uh, uh, a, a horse mum. A, a horse nun? A horse mum. <laughs> so what's it This is be? absolutely ridiculous. Compared to what, what to tell is you. at stake. See if Cindy needs a coat, I, I don't know. <sighs> hey, Cinderella. This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. Oh. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with I wonder if I can give them money. Would that be against my playthrough code? Did I just miss that option because I just went for right for the silence? I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be. Since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays? Okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Cold? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Shut up. You know Interesting. This is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad. He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Really? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. We could be silent, we could give them money. It's just... tough, is all. Oh, I'm giving them money. I'll give you some money, alright? You've gotta be kidding me. It is absolutely against our playthrough. Glamour costs. I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. All right, so I tried to be nice to Toad to make up for like every other scene I've been in with him. Really it didn't do anything, on. so I I kind of got what I asked for there. I should have just been silent. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. My it's own personality got the, the better of me. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Really? Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Okay, we will continue saying nothing from here on out. Unless it's okay. a, you know, punch. What do you want to know? Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. You know, the circumference of a cube, that sort of thing. Idiot. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? 
it really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know, he's not what I'd call a friendly fellow. In fact, he can be a bit rude. Like, tear out your fingernails rude. We'll see. You Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So it's I'm very true. Take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Okay, so we're just gonna smash everything here. I think uh, we can look at some stuff, but that's not really in the spirit of things. So we're just gonna try to find. Hang on, I think. I think this is the. Yeah. It looked a little weird. Oh, just an empty stand. Never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I don't, I don't, uh... <laughs> what is it? Look, I don't know anything, all right? I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... Punch him. Uh, what happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, all right? I don't know anything, and I don't want to know anything. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... I'm the guy that keeps shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. So this is the Jersey Devil, obviously super intimidating, and I want to kill him sight unseen. Well, sight scene. Well, right I think while tempers are running high. Why would you choose a glamour like that? That's my minimum. question. Okay? Uh, guys, no roughhousing while Dad's home, okay? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Maybe? What are is you... his ex even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you? I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. Happy? Really? You did to our guy, Tweedledum? Oh Tell yeah. The murder well, he committed. Out. Uh, he wanted to know where. Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. Yes, we are. Mister uh, Devil, sir. The sheriff here wanted to know about Woody's axe, too, so... Oh, really? Yeah. How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit mm, of a stink, don't she? Shouldn't Jack, have said that. You know that as if this very morning, Bigby's joined the crooked man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? Now I want to break those freaking tacky-ass glasses. See, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers. And Bigby handed him over, just like that. It's not how it happened. I'm uh, just gonna uh, let you. Oh, do. I cannot wait you until know, that the crooked man prompt comes up. That. Told me himself. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. <clears throat> You piece of shit. Uh, do I have to restrain either of them? What happens if I just let this go? I don't. I just, you know, they can fight. I'm just gonna let them fight. Oh, big talk! You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yeah. I like. That there's a secret third option of let time run out and see what happens. Oh, Woodsman's out for the count. Oh, right. I forgot that I'm a mangled body underneath my clothes. You ain't so tough. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. 
Um, whatever this thing is. That's gotta hurt. Really, dude? Really? You don't even want to gang up on him? Right. Glamour's gone. We need the Jersey Devil. Good lord, he's terrifying. You got it, buddy. Oh shit. Let's get it better this time. Totally almost missed that. Alright. Dodge, dodge, hit. Hit. Dodge. And let's just break this off and then stab him with it. Yep. Ow. Good job, Woody. Excuse me. Oh shit. Um. Oh no 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 no. How did I even miss that? Oh man. Oh man. I don't know, my mouse slipped or something. I couldn't move for a second. Let's uh, try that one more time, huh? Okay, ow, that really hurts. Easy enough to draw, dodge, draw, dodge, and chop with the axe. We'll make our move here to the anvil this time. Why not? And we'll slam it right into it. That's better. Should we just kill him? We should probably just kill him, right? So, he's the Jersey Devil. It's not like he's a patron saint of Fable Town. A crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. Oh, shut up. Good when people talk in oh, riddles. The door to his house. He bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. All right, enough of this shit. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? It feels like this guy's just spouting nonsense. Bad, useless bitch. Stomp him. A broken fucking mirror. Just stomp him. The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Dang, I thought he was gonna swing that axe for now a second. Leave me. So I can 
find some aspirin. Oh. He ain't going anywhere. So, that's it. Okay? That's what you want. So go fucking get it. Or you can at least try. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. All right, Jersey, fine. Hey, I'll go Sheriff, my blood smeared self. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Shut them up. Shut them up. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will you? Out of smoke. Yeah, why the fuck not? More huffs and puffs for everybody, eh? That was a weird sentence. Still silence. Shitty brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. I like how the fables are hard to kill excuse gets Jersey them wrong. access to have excessive about violence about those and girls. gore. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Here's to you, woodsman. When you're right, you're right. Hey, we were right next to the trip trap. Just gonna get in the cab. Uh, we're watching them walk away for quite a while. There we go. And after that bloody fight, I think it's a perfect time to end this episode. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Next time, we'll investigate the butchers and see if we can't track down Bloody Mary.